also um, the project Holy Pattern that was, um, I don't know, uh, the Museum of Modern Art, PS1, a year in commission uh, competition and then they commissioned an architecture firm to do that in a setting for a warm up, which is a series of performances that takes place in the courtyard of PS1 in Queens every about during the summer month, or I think it's during the three months of the summer. And so it's a, it's a temporary, uh, it's temporary architecture, and we started out uh, thinking about the projects. We thought about the problem of, of temporary projects, which is always the question: What happens to all the stuff that you design after the project is over? Right? You spend so much time and money making a beautiful building, and then what happens afterwards is just all thrown out. Uh, and we thought, so we thought about recycling, or rather, reuse, right, a, a more direct form of recycling. And um, um, one thing that we noticed was that, uh, I don't know if you know, uh, PS1 in Queens, it's on uh, well, the courtyard of PS1, it's located in Long Island City. Um, and um, the, the courtyard has these, these uh, tall, six foot walls uh, around it. But if you look beyond those walls, Long Island City is actually a very vibrant, interesting place with a lot of you know, different neighborhood groups, different activities going on. And so what we thought about designing something that could be reused to re, um, just look beyond that wall and talk to a lot of different people in Long Island City and ask them the simple question if there was something that we could design for them um, that um, they needed for their courtyards or for um, their institutions um, that we would design, use for uh, holding pattern, the installation of the courtyard during the summer and then give them once the, once the the event was over, right? To, to have, you know, design something that is useful for PS1, but then is also useful for somebody else afterwards. And that was sort of the, the framework for for uh, our project. And so we talked to you know, 50 between 50 and 100 different organizations um, that requested stuff. Some some of it are pretty commonsensical. Like there's a cap that was actually the first group we talked to a cap company just across the street from. Uh, for PS1, uh, it's a place where cab drivers uh, change shifts. So it's a place where you know, one cab driver drives in, then um, waits for the other cab driver to show up and take over the car. So there's always a lot of waiting in work. And so they need a lot of stuff: a you know, ping pong table and a chess table and a place to sit. Um, and so a lot of the things turned out that um, where their requests matched up. Pretty well with the requests of PS1 for this for this party space, um, and so those things we then either bought most of them we built we built a lot of benches, and um, so on some so, so so a lot of these requests were pretty you know commonsensical, and then there were also some you know more surprising things like there was a ballet school in Long Island City that asked for new mirrors for their uh, for the extension of the ballet school. Uh, and so it was an interesting way of designing uh, with these like requests. Instead of having one client in the Museum of Modern Art, we all of a sudden had 50 clients that all requested different things. And um, then to make something out of those those items was sort of an interesting way of, of designing. It. On one hand, it was about reusing the things or matching up um, the architecture for the summer with the architecture that, that would be used by somebody else. Uh, and it was also about you know, connecting, making some connections between this you know, little isolated piece of art world and its neighbors in the island city. And so in the, in the, um, along those lines, we also asked many of the people that um, you know, we gave, that we worked for, um, to if there were certain you know, programs that they wanted to do during the during the summer. So we had a whole in addition to the uh, PS One's uh, series of concerts, there were a number of events like a um, you know, break dancing workshop. Or, uh, at the Irish Center, did a um, quilting workshop, and there was a bike repair workshop. Uh, and uh, the Queens Library did a number of readings in there. So things that happened in the, in Long Island City, but that that happened in the courtyard. And bringing audiences to the courtyard that had never been there before, so using this intervention also as a way of uh, mixing things up a little bit and uh, making public, at least temporary public space for for different publics, and then 
share the same space, um, at least for a day, right? The, the very artsy audience of PSU and you know, break dancers and Irish Irish quilters. 